Fine Crafters, guess what? It's Kimmy Say, and I'm back for another episode of Kimmy Say Craft, and I hope you guys are doing great. I'm doing most excellent, and I cannot wait to do my next thing. First off, guys, check this place out. It is looking really good. We've got lots of things happening. In fact, let's take a moment, and let's go ahead and check the shop. So, let's just go ahead and catch everything up, because we've got a lot of work to do. Let's see here. Have we sold any um, crates? No. How about... Nope, no chests. How... Oh, look, there we go. do 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 so we've got ourselves uh oh somebody renamed them oh that's so annoying <laughs> that's so annoying who's renaming their diamonds that's that's just annoying okay anyways <laughs> let's go over here and check oh dear guys okay have we sold wool haha -ha. wool and diamond diamond diamonds They renamed them. Wonderful. Well, are you kidding me? Ah, okay. Yep. Somebody has much too much time on their hands um, if they are like renaming diamonds. Very good. Okay, well, anyways, the good news is we got plenty of diamonds. I wonder if we'll make enough so we can make like a diamond, um, what do you call those things? Uh, beacon, that'd be kind of cool. We can definitely do tons of tools. I'll tell you what, most of these diamonds are probably going to be going into the shop down the road as I collect stuff. Well, good, at least they're not all. Are you kidding me? Jeez. Okay. Well, you know, like I said, at least we get some diamonds, right? Very nice. Very nice. Well, what do you guys think? Well, diamonds are actually really important nowadays since you need them to decorate armor. In fact, we should probably think about actually getting another set of armor. We're going to have to buy ourselves some... um. Well, I'd actually get a couple of backup sets of armor, actually, because that would make sense. We're going to have to go di uh, mining for some... What do you call that stuff again? Oh, yeah, for some... um, For some netherite. Yeah, we're probably going to have to go mining for some netherite. Okay. How many different types of spelling for diamond are they going to inflict upon me? Well, anyways. So, yeah, we're going to have to do all that. Well, anyways, so, hey... The good news is it looks like, you know, regardless of how it happened, the shops have made some diamonds, and I'm first perfectly happy for that. Okay? Okay. Diamond, 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 diamond. Yes, they just re redid them. Okay, well, there we go. We got ourselves some new diamonds. Guess which diamonds I'm going to be spending, spending f with first. Okay. Well, anyways... Let's go ahead, you know what, while we're doing this, let's go ahead and head over and grab these other diamonds that are over here. Okay, anyway, so last time, guys, now that we've checked all our shops and, like, checked everything out, last time we were in here, we're working on this. We're going to continue to work on this shop, but I realized that we should probably also go ahead and start working on, on my next big inspiration, which is going to be for this section. This is going to be a pretty big, pretty large build because it's going to be an L-shaped build that goes up around like this, over here, and over there. We're going to have to expect start extending the road out okay so the road remember ooh oh somebody has been building some additional warehousing no 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 they no no ch oh sorry guys this i just noticed this because um well anyways this is actually not extended warehousing but extended docks whoops is probably the culprit i bet yeah because these are the um these are the where this is the this is that. That's awesome. So the dock got extended. Fantastic. Whoops. Thank you so much. I'm going to say this is probably whoops. Probably whoops here. So very, very good. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. So we got a place to put some bigger ships, and that's exciting. And then that road, we're going to extend the road over 
were there over to that place, so I'm pretty, pretty stoked and psyched about it. Okay, but unfortunately, I think to get out of here, I have to come through here. Okay, well, anyways, um, very, very good. Cow Farm looks like it's doing good. Okay, so so what are we going to do? Well, over here, guys, is I was trying to think of the aesthetic that we want for the streets because we've got these great streets, but they look a little empty, and I think it's time to start figuring out how we get around and everything like that. So we're going to build a stable, and this stable is going to go all the way around here. It's going to go L-shaped, so there's going to be two exits to the stable. We'll have an exit there, exit there. We're going to have a, well, I'm not sure exactly, but um, we're definitely going to have this area in here where we're going to be able to have to put some housing 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 um stables yes stables because i want to get some carriages working all the way around um the area because you know the best part about visiting a small town if they have everything together yeah you can take a little carriage ride around to the park and see everything and all the little shops and stuff and get on and off so we i was thinking about a trolley system but it's really not a trolley system town it's more a carriage town you know and if we can come up with the design where a carriage is like one two three four maybe um five across at the most okay or maybe like you know three across with the wheels on the fifth i think that's going to be cool so i'm going to start looking up carriage designs if you got one send me or pop it in my discord take a screenshot of it i'd love to see it so we've got a lot of work to do guys i am going to start start getting together my design as well as locking down the diamond problem that i have right now i hope to see you guys here in just a little bit this is kimmy say catch bit hey guys it's kimmy say i'm back and let me show you what we've got going on so far so i've got some of the basic structure done so we're going to have like one of the entrances to the carriages right here i've already gone ahead and laid out the laid out the sidewalk we still got to do a lot of flooring there's so many things that need to be done but we're going to have a couple areas so basically we're going to have the carriage areas right here so this is where we're going to be building have maintenance like we'll have parts for carriages right there we'll probably have one two maybe three carriages is ready to go here we'll have um probably have a carriage being built like right over here so this is going to be like the carriage um, build hall and maintenance hall right there. Then across here, we're going to have a little um, area out here. We'll go ahead and fence this in so we have an outside area for the horses. And then we'll have stalls out here, in here, and in here, which will have the horses as well. So that play, that way we have um, nice places for the horses to stay out of the weather. Now, I decided to make it kind of open air, so we're going to use a timber framing for our roof and stuff. So I think that's going to look pretty, pretty good. We're going to have a back door into the armor place because we're going to sell guess what we're gonna sell horse armor and saddles and stuff so you can grab a horse armor saddle come on down here and you can enjoy a horse so I'm thinking this is starting to look pretty good. I really like the way the layout would. And then over here, after we extend the street, yeah, that's something that's got to get done. Okay, once we extend the street over here, then we'll be able to take carriages straight out. And we're probably going to go ahead and put, put a couple carriages on the street. That way people know that they can go ahead and hire out the carriages. Now this right here, what I was thinking is I think we're going to go ahead and build out a little bit of a outside because I think we were going to make this like a cafe anyways so um, we'll go ahead and pull that out a little bit like that so we can have a cafe um, right here because I think that would look really 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 good if we had a cafe here I think that would just really make this place look sharp so um, and then that way you know um, you can go eat at the cafe you know like and then maybe like walk down here and go catch a carriage ride or something we'll go ahead and set some um different yeah well we got a lot to do yeah suffice to say there's still a lot to do here so uh, what i'd like to do is maybe get the roof up um maybe start getting the stalls done um i'd love to go ahead and start doing the ground because the ground and it really shouldn't look grassy yeah so we got to go ahead and get a whole bunch of dirt we got to get maybe some maybe we'll get some wool we're gonna get everything brown yeah so wool maybe some clay and stuff so we can go ahead and mix up the yard and everything that way we can go ahead and get that going on because it shouldn't be totally paved i don't think it i don't think we'd want the horses like stomping over paved stuff all the time but then you know we can go ahead and get all this going that way we have our stalls for the horses and stuff and there we go 
I think once I put the roof on here, it will really look good. And then I've got to finish the entrances and everything like that. And so they've got to be at least one, two, three, at least five wide. So we might have like a little bit of gate spot there. That way we do have a gate we can close on both sides as well. And I think that would look absolutely awesome. Okay, so got a lot of work to do here, but it's already starting to come together. So guys, can we say I'll be back in just a bit? Hey guys, I am back and... Of course, whenever I start recording, it's always raining and dark and whatever. But I thought the um, darkness made this gave this a great atmosphere. So check out the barn, guys. It's really coming together. I went ahead and put some details in here, kind of make things look good. I went ahead and put some cobble around. I, I, I do want to do something with the floor in here. I don't think the green grass here in the shop area is all that great, but that's okay. Wow. There are some guys out there. Might be underneath it. Well, anyways, come on. Let me show you what's going on. If you'll notice, there's something going on there at the front of my shop. Yep, do you know what's missing? Yep, my skeleton horses. I finally found a use for them. So check this out, guys. Yes, the carriages. The carriages are happening. So I went ahead and decided to build the type of carriage we're going to have all over the place. So we have these horse-drawn carriages that will be going around the square and around the area. And they're going to be able to um, be rented out and stuff and everything. In fact, you know, we should have... Um, there should be here. There should be a simple little, um, let's see here. Well, oh, oh, there we go. Yeah, I got it. Yep. So basically, there we are. You can sit right here and you can like carriage it around there. And we've even got seating for on passengers right over here. Right. Absolutely. And so we can hang out for the, for the carriage and everything. So there you go. What do you guys think? I think it was pretty cool. I was inspired, but then I st then I messed around with the design and made it my own. And um, gosh, you know what? We're just gonna go ahead and sleep. But anyways, I think it's looking pretty good. Plus, I got I finally got a place for my skeleton horses. So I'm gonna have some skeleton horse carriages going around, and we're gonna have some other horse carriage around. In fact, let me show you some cool stuff that's been happening on the server since the last time I checked in, guys. And then I'll take you over and show you the show you how far I've gone on the stables and everything. Well, well, obviously we got these great carriages that we're going to start popping up. That's going to be the first one, but check it out. Apparently, we have gained some notice. Oh yes, we have gained some notice, and so now we have um we have um people moving into the area here. So let's do it. We'll just go through the cemetery to get over there. Yeah, yeah, the way to go, right? Okay, but if we head over here, look, the Swedish, the Swedish embassy has opened an embassy. Check it out. Very nice. I think they still have to move in, but boy, this is so cool. So apparently the, the Swedish people are really interested in hanging out. Now, they've still got a lot of work to do on here. In fact, um... I think he's going to use a lot of spruce for the flooring, apparently. But check it out. The Swedish embassy has moved into town. So very cool. Not to mention this um, old abandoned factory over here has, has like been popping up. What's been going on over here? Where do I sneak in? Oh, check it out. Cuba Texture, I believe. Um, um, whoops, who's been building this place was inspired by Cuba Texture. So very, very cool. And ooh, that's kind of nice. Put a, I guess that's a torch in this. Very cool. Very nice. Building designed by Cuba Texture. Okay, plant Minecraft and modified by whoops. This is looking pretty awesome. So I'll tell you what, I love that. Um, I love the roofing up there. So I'm not sure what he's going to use that for, but I think it's going to be pretty, pretty cool. Very nice. Boy, the, the town is really starting to expand out. Um, of course, I'm still waiting for the rocket shop to open, but I've been sneaking in buying rockets in. Stuck in there. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out the stable. Okay, so since the last time I was able to get the roof up, and I think the roof turned out pretty nice, um, we have two gates. We have a gate here, and we can walk in here. I'm, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to put, like, some um, doors to show the gate or just leave the gate open. I haven't decided that yet. But if you come down here, like I was at earlier, this is going to be an area where we're going to keep all the extra carriages. So i got to build some more carriages, maybe put some parts up here. Um, create storage area in here for building carriages. I've got a carriage on the build right here. So this is a this is a similar design, but making a few adjustments to it. In fact, um, another awesome thing that has happened is oh yeah, check it out. So what? So um, with some help from um, Orange Face, he went ahead and helped gather us a whole bunch of steeds and horses and donkeys. And hey, there's my there's my extra skeleton horse, so that we can start getting these um. 
So we can go start getting the carriages out there and everything. So we've gone ahead and got everything squared away. I think the roof lines turned out pretty good. You know, I'd want to have them open air because you want the, um, well, you know, stable. You want the smell to go up and out, you know. It's a pretty nice climate out here. And then we went ahead and get that going all around there. Plus, this gives us a backdoor entrance going over to the um, shop in which we got to finish building this out as well. So I'm loving the look of everything so far. Guys, let me know down in the comments. You got some ideas? You know what? We should a um something here. I'm going to light place here. Yeah, because like you you don't want this in between here. No, no. Sorry, I can't seem to click the right thing. But let's go ahead and now we have the alleyway kind of a little bit, so that's right. Oh, I love how the alleyways have started to turn out for this. Um, so I still got to do something for that. I like the way the roof and the alleyways turned out here. I think this is pretty cool. Then you have this back alleyway, which will take you to the bookstore, and then you can go out this way. Oh, man. I'll tell you what, you know, there's so there's it's so satisfying to see all the different structures start to pop up and the different areas start to open up. So this is really great. I would love to get your feedback on everything, if you like the carriage design, if you think there's some adjustments we can make or anything, but I'd love to get the feedback on everything that's going on. So guys, I um, just want to say thanks a lot for checking everything out. I hope you guys have a great day. Enjoy the video. Hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button if you don't mind. And I will catch you later. Let me say bye-bye.